I just wrote a blog. It's at DaveRamsey.com right now. DaveRamsey.com, click on blog. How to quit a job professionally. Now, uh, again, you can read the full article. I go in great length here to walk you through step-by-step step everything you need to do. I'm going to give you the high points real quick. The first thing I want to say is this. I think a lot of us delay quitting. Some of us delay to the point that something comes up and then we don't quit ever. When we know we should have quit a long time ago. But I think a lot of us don't quit when we know we need to quit because we're just worried about how it's going to go down. Uh, confrontation is not always a yell, scream fest, rude, uh, intense. It doesn't have to be that way. But that's how we look at something like this as a confrontation. And even the mild, mildest of confrontations where you say, hey, uh, I don't want to work here anymore. I'm resigning. That's just too much for some people. It's, you got to work yourself up. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you just got to work yourself up and get brave, and it's just this big thing. It doesn't need to be a big thing. That's the first thing. If you don't owe anybody a life of average. You don't owe your employer, no matter how much they've done for you, you don't owe them one more miserable Monday. You're not doing them any favors. I mean, if they're honest and healthy, they're going to say, hey, I'd rather you leave than not be your 100%. So here we go. Three things we're going to hit on real quick. And again, high level, go to DaveRamsey.com, click on blog, and how to quit a job professionally is there for you to read. And I'm going to walk you through a lot of details. But here's the thing. Uh, make sure you have a place to land unless you have an emergency situation where you uh, absolutely must leave. And I think we all can understand what an emergency is. This is some type of abusive situation. And the bridge has not been burned. It's been incinerated. You need to leave for your safety or for your mental health, uh, then go. Okay. Aside from that extreme emergency situation, I don't want you to leave or quit a job until you have something that you're walking into. And something could be I'm taking a one month, two month break, get myself set, but I got financial reserves in place. I'm not missing a beat financially. My budget's not changing. I'm good. That's what I mean. You got to step into something, a plan. You're stepping into a plan. So either a place or a plan. How about that? I want you to either step into a new place or a plan. Second, I want you, uh, after you've taken care of, okay, I got a place and I got a plan. I want you as a good citizen and as a person of integrity to think through the transition. What do you need to make sure that you are doing to make the transition smooth. You are leaving a position. You have been paid to fill this position, to do this work. And you are now leaving. And I don't think a lot of people think about this. But what can you do to make sure that those who will be doing some backfilling, helping out, whatever the situation, or the next person who fills your role can win, can succeed? What can you do? Meaning, this is... This is thinking through, okay, these are my clients. This is what I've done here. They've all been served well. It should be seamless. Really go above and beyond so that people go, wow, we didn't miss a beat. You know, don't leave a bunch of hidden grenades. Don't do that. Think through the transition and have a plan in place before you ever say anything about leaving. That leads to step three. A lot of people don't do this either. Please tell your leader before anyone else. Tell your leader. Don't, don't tell a couple of coworkers that you have a good relationship with, hey, here's the deal. Uh, don't say anything. I haven't told the boss yet. Don't do that. It just, it just, it, listen, that kind of stuff finds a way out sometimes. Not everybody's got an ironclad you know, grip on a secret. And, and I just think it's better to do those things, uh, to find a place, to come up with a plan before you just, before you fully decide, okay, it's done. Uh, think through the transition. And then the third piece, tell your leader before anybody else. I just think that is the way to do it well. And again, now I go into great length. Well, not greatly. I shouldn't say that. It's not a, a Leo Tolstoy novel. It's a blog post, abramsy.com. Click on blog. But got some more stuff there, some very specific things to do, some specific questions to think through. 
and get answers to on that second point, which is thinking through the transition. So really, I, I uh, walk you through this step by step. Great, great piece for you there. So go check it out, DaveRamsey.com and uh, click on blog.